Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So, just going to pull the energy for you guys today. Hopefully, it's some good energy. But let me put my cards up. I should have did that before I started the video, y'all. But I was kind of anxious. So, forgive me. All right, here we go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guides, for showing up and helping me with Virgo's reading. Protect us as we go through these portals. Close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Don't forget, you guys, you got to use the spirit of discernment, okay? If you're triggered by anything, face your mirror, not my comment section. Flip your roles as you see fit. So what I'm seeing here, because I got the yin yang in the reverse, the sixth chakra in the reverse, and the hostility cards in the reverse. So when it comes to, say, like your own personal vision, right, your clarity of thought, someone wasn't clear about that. But now I see somebody is letting their guard down just a bit here and beginning to take some type of action um, when it comes to this vision. OK, so tell me about the yin yang card reverse. Definitely feel like somebody in your story, very guarded. OK, um, Ace of Wands comes out. So, yeah, when it comes down to whatever ideas that they have or you have, I, it's just a sense of like, OK, now let me take action on this new beginning. Let me take action on, you know, what it is that I desire for myself, because the universe is literally handing me the wand, giving me. And it's not even permission because that's what I just heard. But giving me the option to choose, you know, my happiness or to stay stuck. Tell me about the sixth chakra. Giving me the opportunity to choose what I envision for myself. Yep, six of pentacles come out. The devil card reverse. But of course, it's going to require you to do what? Make a choice, one, and require you to... Claim, reclaim your power. Let go of the devil energy, 222. Two, two. Stop choosing um, or making decisions from your ego, but more from your higher self, your intuition. Okay. Somebody could have been prone to just not making the right choices because you know how you be looking at how what came to my mind just now was like everything that glitters is not gold. And that's how somebody was basing their choices. Okay. The food card comes out. Somebody's ready for that new beginning. Somebody's ready to take that leap of faith here. Um, tell me why the hostility card is in the reverse. The tower card came out in the reverse. The Four of Wands card here in the reverse. I just felt like somebody wasn't sure, was thrown off balance. Like the Temperance card was in the reverse. The Nine of Cups comes up in the upright. It's like somebody was pretty much off balance when it came to what their personal vision is when it comes to family, when it comes to building a foundation, when it comes to money, you know, um, your happiness. You know, whatever you're praying for. Somebody was just literally in a defense mode because, again, they're not clear about what they want. And, like I said, it's just this feeling that, you know how you realize, like, look, I got to detach and, and choose a healthier and happier experience. It's this feeling like, okay, I want to be able to have a happier experience. I don't want to keep living in the past, being stuck in the past. Yeah, I don't want to be here, the chariot reverse, the magician reverse, not manifesting, not being able to overcome my challenges um, because of me trying to protect. And I don't know why I said protect. And I know I'm speaking kind of like me, but I mean, you know, collectively. Um, trying to protect my belief systems 
about what my happiness looks like, about what family looks like, what relationships look like, okay? Um, Nine of Cups is here. Someone was not allowing themselves to be happy when it comes to a connection. The Knight of Wands comes out. This is that courageous, passionate energy um, that's coming through, like being able to take action. Page of Pentacles comes in a reverse. The reason why that wasn't happening, why? Because, again, somebody was just being foolish. That's just what it is. You know, if you're not open to learn new things, if you're not open to take on new opportunities, things like that, especially when it's like you're trying to manifest some things in your life, you want new love, but how can you have new love if you're not willing to be open to it? How can you have new financial opportunities if you're not willing to explore and learn new things? So it was nearly impossible to be able to do it. And then if somebody says something to you about it, or if you say something to this person about it, hey, somebody they get on a the defense. But now it's like four pentacles comes out in the reverse. You know, they're saying like, hey, I got to release my attachment. Especially to material possessions, you know, to ideas and belief systems, patterns, and trust in the universe, right? That I'll have all my need, what I need. The two of wands comes out, so somebody's definitely like in this stage of planning, planning, or even making decisions, or taking the first step, or something here when it comes to their personal vision. Let me see if I can get a little bit of tea for y'all. Some in regard to this situation. Somebody may have some legal issues going on. Or having to deal with the court system. I'm also seeing this as justice jackpot so something is com is coming through for you okay i feel like my the energy is kind of shifting so if you're if you're um moving silence all right but if you are involved in some type of court case um or something like that or some type of legal issues it looks like the scale is getting ready to balance for you like you literally are going to get some type of unexpected money whether it's coming through a winning um an inheritance or again a settlement move in silence because what you're going to get is like a lot okay why should they move in silence <laughs> off the back five of wands because it's going to definitely, yeah, cause some type of, yeah, people are going to literally be trying to get at you. It's going to be some type of um, conflict, competition. People, and what I just heard is like, it's that hating energy. It's that hating energy. People trying to, t people talking, people trying to figure out, you know, what to do to try to knock you off. And that's what I heard was like off your horse, right? But try to knock you down, okay? A lot of catty energy, y'all. But just move in silence, all right? Because um, what's coming through here, yeah, you about to be blessed tremendously. Like I said um, in previous readings, when it comes down to your Ten of Pentacles, when it comes down to your legacy, when it comes down to your abundance, the universe is literally helping you to get there now. So you really instinctively know what to do, but whoever this masculine energy is, it's like they're realizing hey, that they got to take action. It's time to take action when it comes to their vision or when it comes to your vision. Anything else, my spirit team? Yep, the king, king of Ariel, okay. Masculine energy, like I said, they're beginning the plan. Nine of Ariel. They're making some type of plans, and those plans are going to work out, okay? Whether professionally, whether personally, it's success all around. 